Hello, all Giran Zabi here. As per my state-mandated anger management course, I was told to share some of the pictures I'd done gone and drew. While I am particularly fond of landscape paintings, my drawing teacher, Chalia Bull, instructed me to attempt portraiture. What better than a, um, yap session to do so? I have quite a library of portraits I've created, such as this piece of the esteemed Rambaral, of which I created for one of my good friends, Maji, on Twitter.com. As they say in your country, arigato gozaimasu. I rendered this piece in fine watercolors and gouache on Arch's cold pressed paper. Others I'm fond of include this three-way portrait of a few of our commissioned officers and mobile armor developers, alongside this portrait of Tem Ray, of whom I will have on the Gear and Zabi experience very soon. Now, to make sure that there are no fluffs or frills, I will show that I am, in fact, drawing on this piece of paper. I'm not a fan of hoodwinks, skip-scaps, and fraudsters, so I felt it imperative to show that this is neither tracing paper or any other black magic. This portrait was requested by Shar Aznable for his rather robust collection of artworks, of which he enjoys showing to random strangers and denizens of our colony. I decided to experiment with markers, which Chalia Bull kept away from me, as I tend to simply use watercolors and inks known as Sumi. I don't like it when people keep things away from me, as I am a very explorative individual. These pens I acquired from a hobby shop, one set being calligraphy pens, and the other being from Pentel, of which are made in Japan. So you know it's the good stuff. Look, it's even marked right there. How novel. Anywho, I began with a fine marker and decided to outline the basic shapes that would be filled in first. The smell of this pen was actually quite pleasant, and I was surprised that it didn't bother me as I tend to get a case of the horribles, as father calls it, when I smell harsh chemicals and the like. So, if you are like myself and want some good markers, these are definitely it. None of that shabby stuff. They were also of good market value. Not that it matters to me and all. I mean, I am Giran Zabi of all people. I don't like to boast or brag, but, you know, I am quite wealthy. Now, once the basic outline was done, I figured, hey, why not just use one of the chisel pens to fill in the other areas? I own several Copic markers and want to color this piece with them in the future. But from my past understanding, alcohol markers typically don't bleed well on this sort of paper. Oh, I realize I never mentioned what type of paper this actually was. Silly me. This is known in Japan as a shikishi board, which is made from gassen rice paper adhered to a hardboard backing. This type, however, is more akin to what is known as a Bristol board, better known as illustration board, as it's good for pens of this nature. There may be a few hops and skips here, but I had to step away during recording for a spot of lunch with Della's, who was most tickled that I was creating such a thing. Perhaps I will draw his portrait next. Who knows? If you have a request, be sure to leave one in the comments section, and I will more than likely consider it for a future piece. You never know. One day I might do a whole giveaway. Now, for the finer details, I opted for a Micron pen that came with the same Pentel package. These were, at most, $9.99 for a pack of three, though as stated before, very optimal and easy to access. Why, you can't even get an Earthnoid cheeseburger meal for that anymore. I wanted to be very minimal with the details here, as I can get very carried away, much akin with my digital inking, though in this case I am learning to be simplistic. Char's epaulettes are custom-made to his uniform. Did you know that? 
I was shocked to find out that they aren't standard to a commander's uniform and are longer at the shoulders for a more... swish effect. I suppose it's a manner of fashion. I know I certainly enjoy a nice shoulder board. With that said, I would like to note another fact in that I drew this all from memory. I see Shar quite a bit thanks to his... relations with my younger brother Garma, though I do feel I made his stall helm a bit too short. To the blind eye, it may look all right, but I am quite exacting on myself. As I worked forward, I used what had to be my favorite marker out of the entire pack, the, as they put it, brush sign pen, which is typically used to sign traditionalist Japanese or Chinese script, followed by the artist's seal, known as a hanko in Japanese, and colloquially as a chop in Chinese. I thought about the Chinese gentleman I had on my podcast last year or so. What was his name again? Bright Noah, I believe it to be so. Any whoosies, working with this marker was my favorite as it reminded me of using Sumi ink, of which I am very proficient in. I had to learn aspects of this marker, however, as the tip can bleed profusely if used at the wrong angle. However, it was light and sharp against the paper and very stimulating. I felt like I could draw for hours using it. I want to make a larger piece using this brush in particular, something more gallant. Oh, the ideas, they just keep coming. Maybe I'm a new type or something. Do you ever feel like one minute you can just do everything in the world? That's one of the reasons I thoroughly enjoy art. Not like Mekuv, he's just a hoarder. One day I will teach my bastard son Gelmi Toto how to yield the brush, but for now he is complicit with simply finger painting. Perhaps he will draw his papa in a fine military costume or war scenes, or perhaps simply his favorite characters. He particularly likes that Spongebob. I want to estimate that this took only about 40 minutes tops to ink completely, and about 10 minutes to sketch initially. I can't say. A lot of things took my time and meddled while I was recording this. Ideally, I had a few takeaways from this experience. For one, I found a new surface I like to work on. But in reality, I will probably just get regular old illustration board next time. It's far more plentiful, and the sizes of most shikishi are a bit restrictive. I've seen some great uses of it, but it's not really for me. This isn't my first time using marker to draw, but it's a first with these pens in particular. The calligraphy pens I purchased are best used for larger areas, and they did get a wider area done quickly. However, once dried, they left a lot of streaks. I love ink of all types as a medium as it's my favorite to use for illustrations, but it's not the same. More time spent with them will yield better results. Such is the nature of things. In the end, I enjoyed working on this portrait of Shar, and I think he'll like it too once I send it off. I added some grounding swoop, as I call it, which is based on Yoshikazu Yasuhiko's techniques. I have only really accomplished this digitally, and with the marker, it takes something far thicker than what I used. I'll consider that next time. As for Chelia Bull's lessons, well, from one black man to the next, I think he will be most pleased with me. I intend to acquire a bit of art supplies in the future, and with that said, I, I would like to thank you all for tuning in. 
Be sure to hit that bell for notifications as well as like, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Now, if you excuse me, I will go enjoy a hot plate of <sighs> collard greens as a reward for my hard work. My palate is craving something wholesome.